Next Generation NCLEX expects nurses to be able to demonstrate doses calculation skills that are needed for medication administration. Get comfortable and learn these by heart by reviewing this and then we will go over 20 practice conversion questions with the answer. Let's get started. The following chart shows each unit of measurement and their approximate equivalent values. 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. 1 teaspoon is equal to 5 milliliters. 1 tablespoon is equal to 3 teaspoons or 15 milliliters. 1 fluid ounce is equal to 2 tablespoons or 30 milliliters. 1 ounce in weight is equal to 30 grams. 1 pound is equal to 16 ounces or 480 grams. 1 cup is equal to 240 milliliters or 16 tablespoons or 8 ounces. 1 pint is equal to 2 cups or 480 milliliters. 1 quart is equal to 2 pints or 4 cups. 1 gallon is equal to 4 quarts or 8 pints or 3,785 milliliters. 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliter. Let's practice together and see how many you get correct. Question 1. Convert 6 teaspoons to tablespoons. And the correct answer is... 2 tablespoons. Rationale. There are 3 teaspoons in 1 tablespoon. Multiply this by 2. And the correct answer is... 2 tablespoons. Question 2. Convert 6 ounces to milliliters. And the correct answer is 180 milliliters. Rationale. There are 30 milliliters in each ounce. Multiply this by 6 and the correct answer is 180 milliliter. Question 3. Convert 5 pints to a milliliter. And the correct answer is 2,400 milliliters. Rationale. There are 480 milliliters in one pint. Multiply 480 milliliters by 5, and the correct answer is 2,400 milliliters. Question 4. Convert 240 milliliters to pints. And the correct answer is half a pint. Rationale. There are 480 milliliters in one pint. 240 milliliters is half of 480. You divide 480 milliliters by half, and the correct answer is half a pint. Question 5. Convert 4 tablespoons to teaspoons. And the correct answer is 12 teaspoons. Rationale. There are 3 teaspoons in 1 tablespoon. Multiply 4 tablespoons by 3 teaspoons to get 12 teaspoons. Question 6. Convert 64 pints to gallons. And the correct answer is 8 gallons. Rationale. There are 8 pints in 1 gallon. Divide 64 pints by 8 and the correct answer is 8 gallons. Question 7. Convert 90 milliliters to ounces. And the correct answer is 3 ounces. Rationale. There are 30 milliliters in 1 ounce. Divide 90 milliliters by 30 milliliters and the correct answer is 3 ounces. Question 8. Convert 8 cups to milliliters. And the correct answer is 1,920 milliliters. Rationale. There are 240 milliliters in one cup. Multiply 240 milliliters by 8 cups to get 1,920 milliliters. Question 9. Convert 46 kilograms to pounds. And the correct answer is 101.2 pounds. Rationale. There are 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. Multiply 46 kilogram by 2.2 pounds to get 101.2 pounds. Question 10. Convert 220 pounds to kilograms. And the correct answer is 100 kilograms. Rationale. 1 kilogram is converted to 2.2 pounds. Divide 220 pounds by 2.2 to get 100 kilograms. Question 11. Convert 9 tablespoons to teaspoons. And the correct answer is 27 teaspoons. Rationale. There are 3 teaspoons in 1 tablespoon. Multiply 9 tablespoons by 3 and the correct answer is 27 teaspoons. Question 12. Convert 2.8 liters to milliliter. And the correct answer is 
2,800 milliliters. Rationale. There are 1,000 milliliters in 1 liter. Multiply 1,000 milliliters by 2.8 liter and the correct answer is 2,800 milliliter. Question 13. Convert 2 ounces and 2 cups to milliliters. And the correct answer is 540 milliliters. Rationale. 1 ounce is 30 milliliters, so 2 ounces is 60 milliliters. Then, 1 cup is 240 milliliters, so 2 cups is 480 milliliters. After multiplying these two, add 60 milliliters and 480 milliliters, and the correct answer is 540 milliliters. Question 14. Convert 5 teaspoons and 3 cups to a milliliter. And the correct answer is 745 milliliters. Rationale. There are 5 milliliters in each teaspoon, so 5 milliliter times 5 teaspoons equals 25 milliliters. Then, 1 cup is 240 milliliters, so 240 milliliters times 3 cup equals 720 milliliters. Add 25 milliliters and 720 milliliters, and the correct answer is 745 milliliters. Question 15. Convert 3 gallons to pints. And the correct answer is 24 pints. Rationale. There are 8 pints in 1 gallon. Multiply 8 pints by 3 gallons, and the correct answer is 24 pints. Okay. That was the first 15 practice conversion question. Grab your 160 free digital flashcards at cutienurses.com slash start. While you're here, smash that red subscribe button below to stay updated with all of our latest insights and tips. Now we'll apply unit of measurement conversion to five and Clark practice question. Question one. A nurse is preparing to administer 15 milliliters of cough syrup. If the medication cup is measured in teaspoons, how many teaspoons should the nurse administer? And the correct answer is 3 teaspoons. Rationale. 1 teaspoon is 5 milliliters. The nurse should calculate 15 milliliters divided by 5 milliliters to get the correct answer, which is 3 teaspoons. Question 2. The healthcare provider instructed the nurse to administer a half pint of saline solution intravenously. How many milliliters is this dosage? And the correct answer is 240 milliliters. Rationale. One pint is 480 milliliters. The nurse should calculate 480 milliliters divided by half to get the correct answer, which is 240 milliliters. Question 3. A nurse is calculating a medication that is prescribed at 20 milliliters every 6 hours. How many fluid ounces should be administered per dose? And the correct answer is 0.67 fluid ounces. The rationale, 1 fluid ounce equals 30 milliliter. To calculate the dose in fluid ounces, 20 milliliters divided by 30 milliliters equals 0.67 fluid ounce. Question 4. The healthcare provider placed an order for the patient to drink one gallon of water daily. The nurse is calculating in pints for easier measurements. Provide the correct conversion in milliliter. And the correct answer is 3,840 milliliters. Rationale. There are 8 pints in 1 gallon, and 1 pint is 480 milliliters. The nurse should take 1 pint and multiply by 8 to get 3,840 milliliters. Question 5. The nurse must calculate the correct medication dose, that is, dose at 2 milligrams per kilo of body weight. If the 50-year-old patient weighs 150 pounds, how much medication should be administered? And the correct answer is 136.4 milligram. Rationale. First step is to convert the weight from pounds to kilogram. 150 pounds divided by 2.2 pounds is 68.2 kilogram. Now, calculate the medication dose. 68.2 kilogram by 2 milligrams per kilogram equals 136.4 milligram. 
Awesome job on completing the five NCLEX practice questions. Looking for more tips and tricks to make your journey even more fun and engaging? Check out my next video where we dive into more essential nursing tips. Thanks for dropping in and let's get NCLEX ready together.